Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes. How was your day? Uh, Thursday. How was your day? How was your day? Hey, it's fine. <laughs> Good, no problem. <laughs> I, 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 algo perdida. <laughs> Don't worry, that's why we are here. Yes. Don't worry. Okay, welcome back, Olympia, Laura, and Ana Palma. Ana Palma, right? Thank you, teacher. Good, yes. Change the yes, name. teacher. I'm Ana Palma. Good, welcome back. Nice. You guys were missing yesterday. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I'm sorry. I went to I went to the San Salvador because um a uh, class, a uh, class, a uh, work, a uh, co-worker, co-worker co died. Really? Yes. Okay, sorry to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, you know, that's why every morning we have to say thank you to God because he's given us another day of life, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we're healthy, thank God. That's the most important. Yes. Everything else, everything else is secondary. Everything else, your health is always first. That's yeah. right, that's true. Okay, all right. Um, Nancy, Elena, Ana Palma, Laura, Olympia, and Good and evening, Linda. teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Very well. Nice. All right. Let's begin. What's today's date? What's today's date? Thursday. Tuesday. 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 Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Tuesday. 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 March. 23rd. Excellent. Tuesday, March 23rd. What's the year? 2021. 2021. 2021. All right, good. So let's begin. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Mm hmm. No, this year I couldn't stay in class. Sorry. Okay. What about that were present? Do you remember yesterday's topics? Mm -hmm. The conversation is. Um, Which conversation? Yes. Uh, the person, the. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone else? I remember the second part of the class. Uh, we learned many questions about conversations. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So remember, when you're having a conversation with another person, uh, there are things that must be there and it's mandatory. Like you need to learn how to listen. Um, you need to make eye contact. You need to respect the other person's opinion, even if you don't agree with that person. So things like that. Any questions or comments? No questions, no comments? No. No, teacher. Right. 
teacher. Thank you. Okay, so yesterday we were also uh, talking about verbs that are followed by gerunds. Like you said, I like staying home. I hate cooking. Uh, I love reading on a Sunday. So things like that. So let me show you. See the agenda. Okay. Go here. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, can. Okay. Do you guys remember the meaning of the word commute? What is commute? Comunicar. Not exactly. I don't know what the meaning commute. Ask me, Francisco, how do you commute? Ask me, anybody. How do you commute? Usually, I, I commute by motorcycle. Maybe, maybe it's collective, no? Not really. En lo que transitamos. Transportarse. En lo que nos transportamos. ¿Cómo se desplazan? Commute. Oh. So, the majority of Salvadorians, they commute by bus. Others yes. commute by car. A big number commute by motorcycle. I commute usually by motorcycle, sometimes by car. So it depends on the, do you remember the, the meaning of the word errands? Errand. What's the meaning of errands? Hacer mandados. Right. So it depends on the errands that I have for the day. If I don't have to bring anything physical, I usually go by motorcycle. If I have to come back with something physical, then I have to drive the car. And, and gasoline is not cheap right now. It's kind of expensive. Anyway. Yes, it's very expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's like... 340, 350, I think. 350. Yeah, yeah. And but you, teacher, uh -huh. I don't imagine you in motorcycle. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I do, and I love motorcycle. Like you have no idea. Yeah. Okay, but you have to be extra careful when you're dry, when you're riding a motorcycle. Okay, yeah. so uh, what would be the first one? I don't like. Uh -huh. I don't like commute by bus. Commuting by bus. Commuting. Commuting. Sorry, sorry, is it commuting? Yeah, I don't like commuting by bus. In El Salvador, commuting by bus, uh, it's an option, but not a good one, you know. But anyways, what about number two? I'm not very good at learning, learning, very learning, language. Language. learning foreign languages. Foreign languages. Mm -hmm. And remember, learning a foreign language helps you prevent Alzheimer. When you activate your mind and you're constantly learning something, language especially, you keep Alzheimer away for a longer period. So after you finish English, think about a third language. What about number what three? About I'm good at. I'm good at. I'm good at. I'm good at solving, solving other people's problems. Problem. Excellent. I'm good at solving other people's problems. Good. What would be number four? I hate. Working. I hate working with, with a group or a team. Or team. Good. I hate mm -hmm. working in a group or team. You know, so in the real life, I there. love. <laughs> I right. love to work in team. Yeah. And people is necessary, and sure. you can do the work faster. Exactly. 
and faster, you know, time is money. So, yeah, definitely. But some people are a little bit different. They say, no, uh, maybe because they have bad experiences. They said, no, I prefer to work alone, but all right. What about number five? I can't stand. What's the meaning of I can't stand? No puedo no estar. No, no soporto. No puedo soportar. Uh -huh. I can't stand. Uh -huh. I can't stand. What is the verb? Sitting. 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 Very good. I can't stand sitting. Uh -huh. In a long meeting. In a long meeting or in a meeting long. Good. What about number six? I'm interested in. Managing. Managing. That is correct. Managing my. Managing better my time. <laughs> okay. So I'm interested in managing my time better. My time better. My time yes. better. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What about number seven? I don't mind. What's the meaning of the expression, I don't mind? No me importa. Exactly. So I don't mind what? I talking. don't mind talking, talking on a cell phone. Okay, good. Talking on a cell phone. What about number eight? I enjoy... Eating lunch. Mm. I enjoy eating, eating lunch, lunch at every, every day. Okay. I enjoy eating lunch out every day. Very good. Questions? Just a comment. Yes. This exercise was so difficult to me because yeah. I forgot the period at the ending. <laughs> oh, you, you mean the, in the platform? Uh huh. Yeah. So remember, you know, the truth is when you finish a sentence, you're supposed to write a period. If mm -hmm. it's a question, you're supposed to use uh, an extra, uh, a question mark. Question but, mark, yes. So you're supposed to write a period. However, the platform has some uh, small issues that sometimes even if you put the period, uh, it might not recognize your answer. So you have to try different forms. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. All right. Any questions? No, teacher. Okay. So when you go to a job interview, imagine they ask you, describe yourself using three adjectives. What three adjectives would you use to describe yourself? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ask me the funny. question. Ask me the funny. question. Funny. It can be funny, hardworking. Good. What else? Responsibility. Responsible. Responsible. Right. Creative. Now, creative. Right. Right. Creative. So remember that sometimes. Um, in an office, they they need someone new and they need someone to be creative, especially if they're launching a new product or something. Funny, funny is very important. Remember, when you go to your work, you know, people love to see you smile. Hey, morning, morning, how are you? So, you know, it's 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 important to be in a good mood all the time. Anything else? Any other adjectives you would use to describe yourself? And this is an exercise that can be get in, in, a, in a real life scenario. One more time. You sound happy to teamwork. I'm a team worker. Good. I'm a team worker. And they can Perfect. perfectionist. You mean perfectionist? Something. Do you do you think perfectionist is good or bad? 
depends sometimes on the work. It depends on the work, exactly. Because sometimes, you know, they want to, they want you to be a team player and they know that maybe having the perfect work is going to be impossible, but they want you to try, right? Anything else? Me, teacher. Uh -huh. Positive. Positive. It doesn't matter where you're applying or what the position is, they expect you to stay positive because inconvenience will come. And when the inconvenience come, they expect you to be positive. Don't get desperate. Anything else? Proactive. Proactive, yes. Proactive. Anything else of how you would describe yourself? Patient. Patient. Sure, you have to be patient. Especially if your supervisor or your boss uh, is on your back all the time, be patient. Be patient. Anything else? Let me show you a list of um, of adjectives and right here. Okay, can you see my screen where it says personality traits? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I need a volunteer to read the first column on the left. Volunteer. What? Just read the first column. Bad tempered. Bad tempered, creative, critical, disorganized. Disorganized. Uh -huh. Disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous. Excellent, very good. Another volunteer to read the second column, please. Are working? Impatient, level, level headed, mm -hmm. moody, 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 punctual, reliable, and strict. Strict, very good, thank you. Do you have any questions about the meaning of this uh, vocabulary? No. No. Okay. Yes. What is the meaning of level headed? Level headed. Anybody knows level headed? Uh huh. So only one person asked for the meaning. So that means that all the others know the meaning of level headed. Can somebody please help me? No, es como agrandado. Not really. No, because our <laughs> qualities. Now mm. remember, some some of these um, adjectives are positive, some are negative. Negative. So level-headed. So you are you're acting. Are evil? Huh? Okay. Uh, he said activo. Mm -hmm. uh, activo. Yeah, level-headed is when you act according to your reality. Is it clear? Yeah. So, so. Oh, yeah, so like someone that acts... It's like realista. Huh? It's like a person to pretend uh, have done, haven't, <laughs> things they haven't. Okay, level-headed, level-headed. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that one. Is nivelado. Level-headed. Yes. Give me a second. Mm.
So like I was telling you, level-headed is someone that acts- Equilibrado. Yeah, that's the word that I was looking for. Yeah, someone that is balanced. So let's okay. say, so if, if you, um, if you live in a neighborhood, I mean, it's someone that acts according to their reality. That's level-headed. Is that good or bad? Is that good? Exactly. Good. Is that because, good? Because sometimes we have people that they appear what they're not, or they want to appear, or they want to impress with things they don't really have. So I think that's, that's, that's something bad, but everybody has the right to live their own way. All right. Uh, any other questions about this vocabulary? I have. Yeah? Forget, forgetful. Forgetful. Can somebody um, please explain forgetful? Moody. What is, what is forgetful? Olvidadizo. Olvidado. Right. Forgetful okay. is someone that is usually forgetting things. Oh, I left the keys in the car. Oh, I left the, the folder in my office. Oh, I forgot to go to the bank. Forgetful. Okay. Someone moody. asked for Moody. What is Moody, people? It's malhumorado. Moody is a person that, you know, when you arrive to your office, says, good morning, how are you, blah, blah, blah. Huh. 20 minutes later, they're very serious. That's <laughs> Okay, and the last one, yeah. relabel. Reliable. Rel Reliable. Please? Reliable. Reliable. How many syllables do you hear in reliable? How many syllables? Four. I think three. Mm -hmm. Reliable. Reliable. Okay. Que se puede confiar en él. Reliable. Four syllables. Reliable. So reliable is someone or something that you can trust. So they say, congratulations. Here's the key for a new car. Do you think the car is reliable to go to Mexico? If the car is completely new? Yes. Yes. Sure, sure. So now here we're talking about people, but you can also say reliable for, for things. Okay. Got it? Yes. Okay, so yes. let me assign the pairs. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being present today. So I will assign you to work in pairs and you discuss each one of the terms. Is it positive or is it? Negative. Let's do this. JC, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you join room four? Yes, no problem. Okay, go ahead. Sure, thanks. Good. It's negative. But tempered is a negative. I can uh, it. I don't like Okay. Hello ladies. I ask hello, Mr. Sorry, but we don't have the screenshot. Oh, um, 
Oh I'm asking God. in the group. Uh, I'm asking to I Antonio. Bad. Bad. Give me a second. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, I assigned you the the. Uh, okay, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Second. Sometimes I took pictures, but not today. <laughs> sorry, right. sorry. I didn't ask. No, don't worry. Yeah. Give me a second. Share screen. You can share the. Can you see it now? Uh -huh. I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to yeah, send it to if group, someone doesn't have. Yeah, uh -huh. please. Thank you, teacher. All right. Let me take the picture in this moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait. English. Class. <laughs> the teacher says, these ladies aren't speaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you guys were discussing the, the exercise, but I was wrong. <laughs> it's not clear, my pitch. Okay, did you take it? Mm -hmm. Can you do it? Uh, I will try. Clear. Yeah, try. Uh -huh. Try it there. Just please. Thank you very much. Okay. So Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, send us. Thank you. Thank you. Recognize is a, a critical in this aspect. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Is uh, is yes. Or negative? What about you? No, I detest how it is disorganized. It's very organized. So, uh, so much, uh, very strict. Uh, is punctual, is very organized. So I organized. know organized, yes. Organized. Yes. Organized. Yes. Organized. organized is very strict uh, for me. Okay. And you? In my case, uh, I think disorganized is uh, negative, um, and I don't. I really, I uh, I not a disorganized person. Is I very organized? <laughs> Me <Yes>. too. <laughs> okay. Me too. Okay. If it's something like that, that's the idea. <laughs> But I understand your point. Okay. Um, critical, as is the idea. Which one? Yes, I think. Crit critical? Critical. critical. Oh, thanks. Thanks, teacher. Critical. Um, critical. Critical. For me, a person uh, who is critical is, is positive. Because uh, the person can um, think very, how do you say, rationalmente? Rationally. Uh, think uh, rationally uh, about. And now, hello, can you hear me now? A little bit. Yes. A little, but I hear you a little. Yeah, we can hear you, but you sound a little bit choppy. Yes, teacher. And you, Anna, you, 
I hear you. Okay, we try to. Okay. Okay, Effic efficient. Efficient. It's positive. It's positive. Yes, because when you have a job, you need to be efficient, and you need to do whatever you do very well. You complete all activities in the yes. job. And you, Antonio? Level heaven is positive. 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 Mm -hmm. Moody. Negative. Negative. <laughs> is something like we say bipolar. <laughs> yeah, bipolar. Yeah. No, my teacher is here. Hello again. <laughs> bipolar. Bipolar. Yeah, bipolar. Hmm? Bipolar, mm -hmm. bipolar. Thank you, teacher. I'm learning a lot with you. Very good. That's I, uh -huh. Bilingual, too, uh, because I, I told you bilingual and you... Bilingual. Uh-huh, and you correct me saying bilingual. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Moody is negative. Yes, in this moment, yes, I can. we can hear you. Okay, um, this good. Yes, hardworking, I think, is a positive adjective. In my case, I sometimes I hardworking, and uh, the most of the time, maybe I say I uh, workaholic. <laughs> okay, and you, uh, Juan Carlos? In my case, I is positive. I had working because all, all I have two hours or three hours more because uh, the documents for custom custom uh, it has been has been uh, make every day. Okay. Uh, I case and the hard, hard hard working is um responsibility possibility is um maybe that's it. Okay. Next in past patient. So much impatient. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And forgetful. 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 Mm. For me, it's a negative adjective. Yeah, it's a negative. But <laughs> sometimes I, I, a little bit forgetful. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> but I'm I'm working in in this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, forgetful is nothing good. No, teacher. No, <laughs> I I forgot the keys of my house uh, a lot of times, and I I have to wait outside my house that somebody of my family came and opened the door it's very <laughs> sad <laughs> yeah yeah especially when you need to go inside and rest or do something with the yeah computer. true <laughs> yeah all right two more minutes oh teacher we have yeah. a question ask me and uh, how do you say dejarse llevar what do you mean Mm, yeah, when we uh, were discuss about a uh, crit critical, uh -huh. uh, we said that uh, a person um, like that 
it's good be critical because it's good know the hearts that you are for the opinions or the oh. ideas for oh, the okay. other. Okay, so you can say it's good to be critical so you're not influenced by someone Influence. else's uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. Influence. Okay, thank yeah. you, teacher. Thanks, teacher. All right, good. Influence. <laughs> Welcome back. Any questions about pronunciation or meaning of, um, of the adjectives? No, teacher, for me, no. Okay, do you guys remember how to identify the number of syllables in a word? A little. A little teacher, uh, I know ilk. Okay, so sure if I, with this theme. Huh? So if I, I know feel I don't feel sure with that theme. Okay. So if I say wallet, here's my wallet, how many syllables are there? Wallet. Two. 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 Correct. How do you know that it's two? What the sound? What sound? What sound? The vowel sound. A E I O U. How many? How many vowels are there in English? Five. Five vowels. Five. So remember, when you pronounce a word, the number of vowels that you hear indicate how many syllables the word has. So when you pronounce the word uh, and you say uh, sanitizer, sanitizer, how many syllables does sanitizer have? I think four. it's five words. Four. 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 Is correct. Sanitizer. Four. Sanitizer. So once again, the number of vowels that you hear, that will indicate how many syllables the word has. Got it? Got so it, how okay. Do you mm -hmm. in English? Confiable in English? Re Reliable. 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 What about beautiful? Beautiful. Bye. 
three is correct. Three, three. three. You, three, three four. Three is correct. Yeah, you, three, four. Now remember, we classify the vowels that we hear, not the vowels that we see. So we're classifying sounds. Any questions or comments? Not sure. No. Okay. No, teacher, it's okay. Okay, so now we go with the last activity. How many hours do you guys usually sleep? Mm -hmm. Seven. Seven hours, seven is good. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Someone sleeps eight or more? No. I try to sleep eight <laughs> hours. <laughs> okay. Now, what happens while you're sleeping? What is your mind doing? What's your mind doing sometimes? Dreaming. Take, take a break. Take a break. <laughs> okay, yeah, sometimes it rests, and that's the idea of falling asleep, you know, that the following. Or dreaming. And sometimes you go dreaming. So today's um, conversation is easily is distracted. What is it? It's easy, easily distracted. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> when we don't sleep enough. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you say pesadilla in English? Nightmare. 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 Right. Now, what is, what is the word that you use when you are experiencing something and say, hey, I dreamt this part before? What is the, the word? It's like the deja, deja, deja vu. Deja vu. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Deja vu. Yes. Deja vu. So let me look for the. Like the movie. <laughs> deja vu. See this here, here. And here we go with the questions. I will need one volunteer to take a screenshot and share it with the, with the group, please. Can someone do it? Yes, of course. Okay, how do you say uh, sonambulo in English? I don't Sleep know. Walk. Sleepwalk. It's sleepwalker. Oh, sleepwalk. Yeah. yeah. Has that ever happened to you that you're dreaming and you're dream you're dreaming so deeply that uh that you start walking? No, just talk. <laughs> huh? Sometimes I talk when I was <laughs> dreaming. Okay. Right. Okay, so um let me see. Excellent. Thank you very much for sharing the, the image. Let me break out rooms. I will change your partner so you speak with someone different. And we go here. So start talking. I'm sending everybody to their rooms. Anna, can you hear me?
Uh, neither sleeping. <laughs> no. <laughs> God will save me. <laughs> I don't want to walk. You always have a good one. <laughs> okay, number three. Do you think animals dream? I think that animals mm -hmm. dream because I have a dog and the dog said, <laughs> and was so he, uh, he <laughs> scary. Uh -huh. But what do you think? Yes. I think uh, so, so do I. So uh -huh. I because my, my dog uh, sometimes is ladra, I don't know. Bark, algo así. Let me yeah, know. bark, bark is the correct word. When, ah, okay. when it's, when, Thank you. Sorry, mm -hmm. I, I can. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm, that's having a dream effect the way you feel when you wake up. That's having a a dream effect. I don't understand the question. Does having a does having a dream effect maybe is um affect the way you feel when you wake up? Oh yeah, um, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, me, sometimes when I have a, a dream that that was very happy <laughs> i wake up and i feel happy <laughs> mm. i think that is something like that the, the meaning of the question but yeah uh, uh, i think that maybe some dreams uh, may affect the way you feel <laughs> when you wake up mm -hmm. and what do you think I think that I feel the same feeling in my dream when when the dream was very um, um very I don't know how how do you say como intense or go very hard or I don't know oh it's very emotional yeah, intense heavy intense. emotional emotional yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or oh, when the dream was very sad. Uh, yes. yes. And why? Um, I've read um, that your mind, no, como se dice cerebro? Your brain? Brain. Ah, yeah. Your brain? Anywhere else Ana in Palma. the group? Yeah, Ana Palma. We didn't see her. <laughs> I, I am a fear. <laughs> we are talking Sorry. about Farum. <laughs> Me dio miedo. Estábamos hablando de fantasmas y de repente alguien habla. <laughs> <laughs> my, my heart is latiendo rápido, so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Beating fast. What? My heart is beating fast. Oh, beating fast, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Ana Palma. Because some they say that sometimes when you are very tired or you can have a very good dreams because you are comfortable. But in some cases, when maybe when you have had a very bad day or you have watched a very scary movie, you can dream some very bad things. Yes, that's why, it's true. That's, that's why now I think that yes, <laughs> can be explaining scientifically. <laughs> yes, maybe in, in, in but I I think it's a very it's very a long time to study to understand. In this case, because the the dream changed to person to person, and 
find to a pattern to the dreams is a very difficult, I think, but uh, I'm not sure. Okay, me too, I'm not sure. <laughs> but maybe, maybe in the future, we can realize about it. Yes, yes. Okay, let me see, number six. Would you like to stop having dreams or have more dreams? Oh, I like... <laughs> Ah, yes, it was so difficult. Yes. Yes. And I have a, I had uh, many problems, but I think it's the most important. Yes. I feel, I have finished platform. It's, it's, yeah, it's relaxed. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's, well, I, I, it's, I don't know how to say it. I feel happier when I finish the platform. <laughs> yes, right. I finish the Yeah, you don't have to worry about thinking, oh, I have to work in the platform and so it's better to finish the platform on time. Yes, I definitely the platform. Right. That's right. I continue next next course, teacher. Good. 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 Yes. Uh, um, um, always in the order, uh, siempre al mismo horario. I understand it's going to be the same time, same schedule. Okay, it's very nice. Yes. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Teacher, we are inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, everybody dreams. Everybody dreams. Okay, do you have any questions or comments about the discussion you were having? No. no. Not either. Thank you very much. Remember, we only have two more classes and we finish. Have a good night. Sleep well. Yes, good night. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.